Do you ever get nervous before job interviews? You want to practice, but you can't really mock interview by yourself and it feels just a little bit weird doing it with a friend sometimes. You're also probably not excited about the prospect of spending hundreds of dollars for professional interview coaching either. So what are you supposed to do? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you a $0 voice chat framework that turns ChatGPT into a live mock interviewer and coach. It'll research real questions for any role that you're targeting. It'll allow you to run endless mock interviews from anywhere, and it's gonna give you detailed feedback and scripts to help you level up so you can crush this job interview. So in order to deliver on all of that, we're gonna cover four things in this video. First, we're gonna talk about the difference between voice mode and regular ChatGPT. Second, I'm gonna teach you how to use ChatGPT Agent to go do research on real interview processes that have happened for your target role at your target company. And we're gonna use that to build a question bank for our mock interviews. Then I'm gonna teach you how to leverage ChatGPT to become a mock interviewing expert. We're gonna use voice mode to have ChatGPT ask you the questions and you're gonna answer them as you would in a live interview environment. It's gonna ask you a series of questions and then I'm gonna show you how to leverage ChatGPT to automatically analyze your answers, give you feedback, and then come up with a specific step-by-step -step plan for improving your gaps and weaknesses over the next couple of days. Let me show you how to do it. To get started, I wanna walk you through the differences between regular ChatGPT and ChatGPT voice mode. Regular ChatGPT is most likely what you're used to using. You show up, you type in a question, you submit it, and ChatGPT is gonna give you an answer. And you can go back and forth like that. But typing is not always the best route, right? Typing can be really tedious if it's a long response, uh, or if we're doing something like mock interviewing, we don't really wanna type out our answers because that doesn't simulate a mock interview environment, right? We wanna be able to speak. So that's exactly where ChatGPT voice mode comes into play. Instead of just typing a question and having to go back and forth that way, you can actually ask it a question, uh, even an existential one like this. In one sentence, is a hot dog a sandwich? Well, in one snappy sentence, if you consider a sandwich as anything with something tucked inside bread, then sure, a hot dog can be a sandwich. And then when you're done, you can close out of the voice chat and you can actually see the transcription here. So this is going to have ChatGPT save everything that you share with it, whether it's asking if a hot dog is a sandwich or if it's answers to mock interview questions. And then you can ask it to share feedback, right? On those answers or on anything else that you share with it. It has that context. So hopefully you can see how powerful this is, especially for our use case of building out an AI mock interview coach. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is voice mode can be activated on your computer or on a mobile device. So you can basically do this from anywhere. One of my favorite tactics for voice mode is using it while I'm on a walk or in the car or running errands or anywhere else. It just allows you to create more opportunities to get practice. So now that you know this whole setup and the differences between voice mode and regular ChatGPT, let me walk you through the process. Let me share my screen and actually build out this whole AI interview coach in front of you, show you all the prompts and all that good stuff. So you can begin jumping into this yourself and be more confident in those upcoming interviews. Now I'm gonna share my screen and walk you through the setup process step by step. First, you're gonna need the job description for the role that you're targeting with this mock interview preparation. In this case, we're gonna use this AE role at Salesforce for all the examples throughout this process. But first, what we want ChatGPT to do is go out there and do some research on interview questions that were likely to be asked for account executive roles in general, but also for AE roles at Salesforce. So I'm gonna use this prompt. First, I'm gonna tell ChatGPT a little bit about the role, the job title, the company that it's at with a link, and a link to the job description. And then I'm gonna give it three steps. First, I'm gonna tell it to go research common interview questions for this job title. Then I'm gonna tell it to research the interview process at my target company and for my target role. So we're gonna have it build a bank of interview questions based on those two things, remove the duplicates, and then add any more that give us some distribution across the different types of interview question categories that we might encounter. So behavioral questions, technical questions, case study questions, and that question bank is gonna be a really, really nice setup for us when it comes to the mock interviews. That's exactly where this AI coach is gonna draw all of its questions that it asks us. It's gonna keep things a little bit more consistent and it's gonna allow us to see our progress as we go. Then the last step here is to turn on ChatGPT's agent mode. When I run this prompt, 
agent mode is going to give ChatGPT its own virtual computer that it can use to browse the internet, go look at this job description, go look up these interview questions, and it's going to have the latest data uh, because it's able to access the internet. So you can see that it's running here, it's doing its thing. Uh, I'm gonna let it run in the background. You can do that, you can go do other work, you can go for a walk, you can literally do anything else and it will ping you when it's done. So we'll circle back as soon as this thing finishes up. All right, so ChatGPT just finished up. We can see that it worked for five minutes here. We can check out all the progress if we want, uh, but the output is exactly what we were looking for. It started by doing some research on common interview questions for account executives. Next, it did some research on Salesforce specific account executive questions. And then third, it took all of that information and it turned it into a question bank that covers all the different categories that it gave it. So this is the exact setup that we're looking for. And now that we have our question bank, the next thing that we need to do is come up with a scoring framework that ChatGPT can use to actually evaluate our mock interview answers, give us grades, give us feedback that is relevant to what we're looking for. So we're actually gonna have ChatGPT do that for us. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using this prompt right here. First, we're gonna tell ChatGPT to assume the role of a data-driven recruiter and hiring manager with decades of experience interviewing all types of candidates. Then we're gonna tell it to use that experience to create a scoring framework for objectively judging candidates, interview answers and performances. And we tell it how we want it to build that scoring framework. So first, we want it to think deeply about every facet of an interview, right? The tone of voice of the candidate, their answer delivery, the examples they choose to include, so on and so forth. Then we want the, the AI to think about how each of those will change based on the different interview questions that are asked. So uh, the example of a good piece of value illustration may change for a technical question compared to a behavioral question. And we want that factored in. And then finally, we wanted to use all of this information to build a detailed scoring framework that aligns with uh, how we would objectively rate candidates' answers so that when we do this mock interview process, it can reference the scoring framework and that's gonna be consistent for every single one of the mock interviews that we run. The last thing that I'll recommend is using some sort of reasoning model for this. So in this case, I have chat GPT-5 thinking on, excuse me, um, but whatever model has uh, the best reasoning capabilities, I would switch to that before you run this prompt. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but you're gonna get something much, much more detailed. I'll show you in just a minute here. All right, so ChatGPT just thought for a minute and nine seconds, and it built out this crazy, robust nine section scoring framework. Now we can review this at a high level, and you can of course make any updates that you want. You can tell ChatGPT to place more emphasis on one thing versus another, to remove one part of this, to change how it's scoring. That's totally fine. Uh, but at the end of the day, you don't need to go so in depth because ChatGPT has this context in the thread, which means that every time you run through the mock interview, it's going to reference the scoring framework. So uh, you can go as detailed as you want here, but this is really cool. Uh, it started with a set of anchors that we're going to use for every single criterion. Then it created core criteria that we're going to use for every single answer. This is awesome because it keeps things consistent across the board. Uh, and then it talks about weighting the questions. So for all the different question types that we gave it, it's going to have different rate, uh, weights for these across a whole bunch of different categories. Then it created a scoring rubric and so on and so forth. You can see just how detailed this entire thing is. So this is exactly what we're looking for. And now at this point, we are ready to set up our AI mock interview coach. So the the way that we're going to do that is by using this prompt right here. In this prompt, we're going to start by telling ChatGPT to assume the role of a recruiter and hiring manager with decades of experience interviewing all types of candidates. Then we're going to say, hey, you've been contracted to perform interviews and give feedback for this specific type of role, in our case, this account executive role at Salesforce. And here are the instructions for how to do that. So first, when I say start mock interview, that is going to trigger this AI interview coach. And I'm telling it to go gather a certain number of questions at random from the bank that I created earlier in the thread. I have two here uh, for the sake of this example and keeping it brief, but you can set this to whatever you want. Personally, I like the range of three to five because I can answer that in one quick sitting, um, but it's enough to give me a sample size of data that's gonna give me good feedback. Second, we're gonna tell the AI to ask these questions one at a time versus just asking them all in a row. That's sometimes what it defaults to. By telling it to ask us one at a time, uh, it's going to simulate an interview more accurately. And then third, we're gonna tell it that, hey, at the end of these questions, or when I say end and evaluate, you're gonna go ahead and grade my performance. You're gonna give me overarching feedback. You're gonna give me per answer feedback. So answers on every, or feedback on every single one of my answers. And then finally, you're gonna give me a 48 hour practice plan uh, with drills and a one to five self-scoring rubric. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and share this. I'm gonna switch back quickly to instant um, so that we'll be in better shape here. Uh, but I'm gonna share this and the AI is basically then going to be set up to be our mock interview coach. So all that we need to do at this point is initiate the voice mode and say, start mock interview. And the AI is going to kick this whole thing off. So let me show you. First, I'm gonna activate voice mode by clicking on this button here. And then I'm gonna say, start mock interview. Sure, let's get started with the mock interview. First question, behavioral, can you tell me about a time you had to juggle multiple accounts at once and how you managed to stay organized? Go ahead and share your answer when you're ready. Absolutely. So juggling multiple accounts and staying organized has been part of my role and part of the success that I've seen in, in every role that I've had since I started my career. The way that I approach this is by first creating a prioritized list of my accounts. I always do this by revenue with the highest priority going to the largest revenue driving account. And then I break my week up into blocks. I carve out specific sections of time that directly relate to each of my clients. And the amount of time I give to each one is proportional to the impact and the revenue that they're driving for my team. Now within each of those blocks, I have a specific framework that I use that allows me to identify the largest goals, challenges, and initiatives for each one of my clients, as well as three specific action items I'm gonna take during that time frame in order to move the needle for each client. I refresh this every single week. So at the end of my last block of time for each client, I come up with the needle movers for the next week and I update those uh, as needed. This type of framework and this type of systematic organization has led to me beating my quota by an average of 20% in the last four years, as well as consistently beating my quota in every single role that I've held to date. It also was one of the major reasons that I landed a large enterprise client deal that won me our one team award uh, for the largest deal of the year. And then finally, uh, it is the biggest reason that I have the client, the highest client satisfaction scores of anyone on our team to date. Great answer. Got that noted. Now let's wrap up the mock interview and then evaluate. Now, when you exit voice mode, you're going to be able to see the full evaluation using the exact rubric that ChatGPT came up with earlier. So if you don't see this, uh, in some cases, voice mode doesn't always translate back to the full response. You can always just say, hey, please share the full evaluation from my last mock interview. It'll spit it out. But as we can see, I have my overall performance here. So I scored an 82 out of 100. Clearly, there's a little bit of room for growth uh, with my on the spot answers. And it breaks down my strengths clearly, right? Clear structure, relevant examples, confidence home. Uh, but then it shares some gaps where it wanted me to share some more quantifiable impact and how I could go deeper on collaboration and prioritization. Then it talks about the themes and it digs more deeply into those strengths and those areas of improvement. And then as we ask for, we get the per answer feedback. So specifically for tell me about a time I juggled more accounts, we can see my score, what went well, what didn't. Same with question number two here. Uh, and then it gives me my 48 hour practice plan. So hopefully you can see how this is a game changer when it comes to interview preparation. You don't need to find a friend or a practice partner or pay for an interview coach if you don't want to. Uh, instead, you can use this framework and you can continue to mock interview basically anytime it's convenient. That's the other reason I love this because you can just fire up voice mode and say start mock interview when you have a few minutes, when you're on a walk, when you're driving in the car, running errands, whatever it is. And if you have this set to like three, four questions, you should be able to get that done in five to 10 minutes or so. That gives you so many more opportunities to practice. And when it comes to interview success and interview confidence, you know, really tamping down those nerves and feeling good, that all comes down to reps. That all comes down to practice. So the more that you can expose yourself to these mock interviews, the more that you can answer these questions and get those reps, the more confident that you can be. And that's just gonna help you crush your next interview. Now you know how to build out your own AI mock interview coach. So all you have to do is go and build it out. If you wanna save some time doing that, you can steal the exact prompts that I use in this video for free. All you have to do is go to austinbelsack.com forward slash mock, and you can get the exact copy and paste templates that you can dump right into your own ChatGPT thread so you can start mock interviewing and not waste any more time with that preparation. And if you don't just wanna rely on one AI mock interview framework to get the job done here, I've got three other steps to help you increase your conversion rates for these interviews. First, you can like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be sharing a ton more AI focused videos on how to leverage that in the job search. You can add those tools to your toolbox. 
Second, if you wanna pair AI with a more human focused and personalized approach to interview preparation, that's exactly what we do in our one-on-one -on -one job search coaching program. We sit down with our clients, we help them use our proprietary interview preparation framework, and that leads to value aligned offers, raises of $44,000 and offers in about 15 and a half weeks, all with a 9.5 out of 10 satisfaction score. So if you're interested, you can head to cultivatedculture.com forward slash coaching, and you can actually book a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute clarity call with our team, where we're going to talk to you about the biggest challenges you're facing in your search, show you why your strategy isn't working, and then walk through how we could map our system to your search to help you achieve your goals. So again, that's totally free. But if that feels like too big of a leap, you can also grab a slot for our free weekly office hours. Our coaching team sits down and shares the three biggest mistakes that we see preventing people from achieving their goals in this job market. Then we walk through the exact steps and strategies that we see working with our clients to generate more interviews and offers. And then last but not least, we're gonna answer all of your questions right there live. So you can bring your burning job search questions, you can get tactical answers to them, and you can be in great shape going forward. So you can head to cultivatedculture.com forward slash live to check that out. But whatever you decide, I really hope you check out and try this AI voice chat framework because it's something that I personally use for any big conversation that I'm having. I build out this framework, I tailor it to that conversation, and it not only increases my level of preparation, it massively increases my confidence, and both of those things have led to better outcomes for me. So I'm hoping you see the same thing on your side. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.